I'm Vanessa Joy, you are here in my studio, and today we are shooting a pageant session, which is a lot of fun. Our goals for this session are to get three different looks and even change up the background, the lighting, the color of the background, and how close or how far away we are. We wanna make sure that we're getting nice clean images and I'm using my Profoto D1s, yes, they are old school, D1s, to light three different ways. And my 1DX Mark III, which is my preferred camera for studio shoots, I pop it onto my Benro tripod and use a 70 to 200 2.8 lens. So we've got the works, we're tethering, let's go. My settings for the entire shoot stayed pretty much the same at ISO 100, 5.6 on my aperture and 1 200th of a second on my shutter. Now I did lower that to 1 160th of a second when I was using the modeling light on one of my D1s to light the background so you get that tan type look. My white balance was set to 5600. I love being able to show my images to my clients right as we take them so I can get a feel for what they like and we can narrow down to their favorites. All right, now that we have what we want, let's get into editing. I decided to edit these photos in Lightroom versus Capture One because I knew I was going to make some adjustments in Lightroom that are retouching essentially and they would go faster in Lightroom versus Capture One or even doing them in Photoshop later. But I am going to go into Photoshop later for some fine tune retouching. Things that I was doing here in Lightroom, definitely making my white background white, whether I had to use my local adjustment brush where I have a preset for that, or having to really get in there and fix the marks on my floor. I also decided to use the Joyfully Simple preset that went across the entire set of photos. I did make some tweaks, especially in the color of Lucia's skin so that it was balanced and not too overblown. Now this is a part where I am retouching in Lightroom and doing things one adjustment at a time. So I'm not clicking back and forth between the adjustments, the local adjustment brushes and the presets that I have there. For example, I'll start with whitening the eyes and then I will go through each photo whitening the eyes. Then I will switch my local adjustment brush to punching lashes or saturating the eyes and I will go through every photo doing that one. Finally, I will use the contour brush or darkened skin just to add a little bit more punch into the shadows that are going to help accentuate her cheekbones, her face, her eyes, uh, and of course, I even do it on parts of her body so that it brings more attention to her face versus to, let's say, her arm. Coming into Photoshop now with all of the JPEGs, I'm just cleaning up the hair, getting rid of flyaways. Usually I use a mixture between the healing brush and the clone tool for this, just depending on what I'm trying to get those little fine hairs away from. I do a few other adjustments like coming in here and cleaning up the eyebrows a little bit under the eyes, but for the most part, what I will be doing here in Photoshop and what will certainly take the most time is going to be frequency separation. I am only going to show you this one photo because, well, it gets a little boring watching me retouch for a while and it's the same thing that I do on each and every photo. So this is the main photo that you will see me actually retouch, but I will show you at the end all of the before and afters for the five final photos. Now, admittedly, I do not do frequency separation that much, so I don't usually remember how to do it right offhand. I actually go to Adorama TV and to Mark Wallace's video that he made probably a year ago now, all about frequency separation and how to do it. So I'm not gonna teach you how to do it. If you want, take a look at that video. It's a great one, really easy to follow from start to finish and teaches you about how to do high and low frequency in a very practical way. So as you'll see, I go through the video doing the exact same steps till I have everything set up. And then I start with the lasso tool, evening out the tone of the skin. And then after I'm done going through the entire photo, evening out the tone of the skin, I switch, go to the high frequency layer. This one is a low frequency layer. I go to the high frequency layer and use the clone tool and that's where we adjust all of the texture. Like I said, I don't do this that much, so I'm not the best at it, but check out Mark's video if you wanna learn more about it. For pageant photos, you wanna make sure there's a nice clean skin, 
almost to a fault, and that's what I did here. Here are the before and after photos. I'm pretty happy with them. I did do a little bit of liquefying that I didn't show you, and that was something I checked with the client first. I don't recommend doing liquefying on your own unless that's something that is specifically requested. I'm pretty happy with the final product, and I hope that she is too. I hope that you've enjoyed the behind the scenes shoot of this session. Let me know what you think. Of course, hit like, subscribe, and make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss a thing here on Adorama TV. Bye.